And the beauty is if you can go find somebody who's been there before, they can show you the way, right? Like think about if you were to go hiking and you're like, well, I'm here and I need to go there. What if you actually had a guide who could like guide you from where you're at to where you want to go? Like, would you not get there a lot faster and a lot safer? Probably a, a lot less injuries along the way. Like nobody goes into hikes Mount Everest by themselves. Like they don't just show up at base camp or like, well, let's see how this goes and just go for it. Like maybe they make it, they're probably going to die. Probably. But everybody who hikes Mount Everest goes with a guide if they want to get to the top. Welcome to the Whistle Way podcast. My name is Kyle Whistle, your host with Whistle Realty Group and EXP Realty in San Diego. And I'm Brian Kochi, the media director here at Whistle Realty Group. The goal of our show is to give you the tools, techniques, and tactics to go out there and crush it in your business, whether that be real estate, mortgage, or really just any business out there. And the way that we like to do that is to answer the questions that you have for us. So... With that said, if you have a question you want to have us answer on a future episode of the show, you can always go to thewhistleway.com, thewhistleway.com. You can ask us questions on there, join our Facebook group, our referral network. You can subscribe to the podcast, the YouTube channel, and find out about our upcoming Media Mayor Mastermind event, which is done. It is officially coming out. So if you want to get on that, uh, we are doing some early bird pricing on there. Go to thewhistleway.com. You can get all dialed in with that. The Media Mayor Mastermind is basically Brian and I sharing everything we have learned over the last six and a half years of creating videos together, all bundled up into a nice little package um, for you so you can shortcut your learning curve to crushing it with video. And we have an ongoing uh, part of the course where we deliver four videos a month for you to shoot and distribute and give you the exact distribution strategy, the script, the content, the whole nine. So thewhistleway.com. And then right before we dive into our topic for the day, if you do get value out of the show today, if you are listening on a podcast platform, really appreciate it. If you could hook us up with a review on there. And if you're watching us on YouTube, uh, if you can give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the little bell, you'll get notified of future episodes of the show and whenever we drop them. Yep. What do we got today, Brian? So today we're talking about... Um, when we don't receive a specific question, I, I task Tom to go through um, previous questions that people have asked either in the group or when they join the group and say, what are the majority of people looking for that we haven't covered yet? Um, and a lot of them were around a topic, uh, not this topic specifically, but this topic will help them with their goal um, of how to improve their business, how to get better um, by themselves. Even, even, a lot of them that aren't on a team, you know, how do I grow? How do I learn new strategies? That sort of stuff. Obviously, there's the the learning through podcasts and videos and that sort of stuff, but that kind of lacks an accountability aspect of it. And so Tom was talking about, hey, maybe we should talk about mastermind groups. I know you're you're very involved in a dozen or twenty four. It depends on the week. Um, so I thought let's talk about mastermind groups. Um, how to get involved? How to set one up? And kind of the different types of either from small mastermind groups to these large mega mastermind groups and kind of what people can do with them. Yeah, I love masterminding. So there's a saying, and this was said at the conclusion of the Super Bowl this past year, Tampa Bay Buccaneers won the Super Bowl. And one of the owners, his name is Malcolm Glazer, stood up in his post-game interview and said, if you want to know, actually said, if you want to, want to know the road ahead find someone who's been there before we found that person tom brady seven time super bowl champ and then they hold up the super bowl trophy and that saying is the whole thing when it comes to masterminds is find people who've been there before because you can right you're if you're listening to this show right now you're somebody who has a desire to grow you want to learn you want to improve yourself and you're probably going to get to where you want to go. It's just a matter of how long it's going to take you to get there, right? If you have a thirst for education and learning, you're listening to this, so more power to you. We appreciate you. But that means you want to grow. So it means you're going to get where you want to go. You're going to grow. It's just how long is it going to take you, mm -hmm. right? So I have no doubt that anybody who's listening to our show is going to get there. But how long is it going to take you? And how difficult is it going to be? And the beauty is if you can go find somebody who's been there before, they can show you the way, right? Like think about if you were to go hiking 
and you're like, well, I'm here and I need to go there. What if you actually had a guide who could like guide you from where you're at to where you want to go? Like, would you not get there a lot faster and a lot safer? Probably a, a lot less injuries along the way. Like nobody goes into hikes Mount Everest by themselves. Like they don't just show up at base camp or like, well, let's see how this goes and just go for it. Like maybe they make it, they're probably going to die. Probably. But everybody who hikes Mount Everest goes with a guide if they want to get to the top. Why are you trying to get to the top by yourself? I just made that analogy up. Okay. Never used that before, but I kind of like it. So um, I'm going to stick with it. So do you find, you're, say you're a brand new agent, you've done three deals in your entire career. Do you start reaching out to people that have done, that are team leaders that have done hundreds of deals under their belt? How do you pick your mastermind groups? Um, I like being in multiple groups okay. uh, because you get different perspectives, different points of view. Um, so I have a few different mastermind groups that I'm a part of. Um, I have one I coach within the Tom Ferry network. So I have a group that is all Tom Ferry coaching clients because we're getting a lot of the same education. And so we all kind of know what each other's um, being told so we can talk about the things that we're being told by Tom and our, our respective coaches. Um, so the good thing there is that we're, it's like being in the same school, right? We're all getting the same education. Um, so that's the good thing there. And so we can talk about further about the things that we learn at the events. The bad thing is we tend to only talk about those things. We all think the same way. So it's nice to be in other circles as well. Um, so we have a circle within our EXP group that masterminds every week. Um, and then I even have a group that's completely unrelated to real estate that I mastermind with. It's called Entrepreneur Organization. Uh, it has nothing to do with real estate. It's just a group or an, an organization of other entrepreneurs that all run successful businesses. And I get to mastermind with them because now they think completely differently than what my EXP mastermind does, completely differently than what my Tom Ferry mastermind is because they're not even in real estate. They actually couldn't care less about EXP or Tom Ferry but they care about running a business. So I get to mastermind from other very smart business people. Um, so I like to kind of have multiple groups that are at different levels and potentially even in different fields because there's something to be learned from each of those. And even different sizes. I know you, you're in groups that are, have six to eight people that you guys meet weekly. Um, I know there's groups that you're in 50 to 100, 200 people plus people that either meet weekly or monthly. So different sizes is, is, is important as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, cause there's that small intimate thing where you actually like physically get together and go on retreats and stuff like that in the smaller groups. Um, and then the bigger groups, right. Those are, uh, just a different vibe where you're not going to have that small intimate feel, but you're going to have a lot of valuable voices. Like our EXP group, we have 75 teams that do 50 million plus in production. So the cool thing there is there's a lot of talent in there to where somebody might have a question about a certain, like today, somebody was asking about breaking into the multi-million dollar luxury market. That's not me, all right? That, do I do those? Yeah, but that's not my specialty. So now two or three people who specialize in that out of those 75 badasses, one of them steps up and shares. So that's the beauty of a bigger group is that no matter what it is, somebody in the group has been there before. Yeah, and and some of the things that, I, that I've heard that I like is, um, also, like with your, your entrepreneurial organization mastermind, you seem to be in a group that is that that your your peers are in now. While again, and with your with your uh, real estate ones as well, you know where you know video, someone knows farming, someone knows direct mail, but it's you guys are in similar positions in your business. Um, you guys are all team leaders. You guys are you know, or in the entrepreneurial organization, you guys are all business owners of a of a size business that's so that's equi i don't know that's equal that's yes. that hits a certain certain threshold yeah there's so a not, minimum uh you, qualification yeah there we like, go um so one of the things that i found is trying to connect with people that are in a similar stage of you not necessarily in the same business but in a similar stage and where they're at yeah and i think more than the similar stage a similar mindset okay um because in some of my groups like one of my groups now, my Tom Ferry mastermind, there's people that are going to do 2000 transactions this year. And there's people that are going to do 200, right? That's a, a wide range, but each person has something different because the person who's at 2000, they've got a lot of blind spots because right, they're a huge organization with a ton of people. So there's a lot of parts of the business. They're not very involved in, not very hands-on. 
where the person who's at 200 is going to be more involved in those things. But the person at 2000 is experiencing things that you can only experience at that level. So it's nice to have a mix. Now, would like a two deal a year agent fit in there? No, right? I mean, it's, it's not going to be beneficial for anybody. It, Unless it's two like $150 million deals. That would be all right. Maybe. <laughs> uh, but they're probably, it's not going to be beneficial for either party, right? They're not going to be able to add a lot to the conversation. Plus the things that we're conversing about are going to be completely over their heads. So, you know, within a reason, I think you need people at similar levels, but they don't all need to be the same. Um, and as you grow too, some people are going to grow faster. Like the person who's going to do 2000 this year, they did 400 a year ago. And have just decided like, F it, we're going to scale like crazy. Let's go. Um, so people are going to grow at different levels too, but we're all going to learn from each other. But it's, it's so nice. Like when you, the thing that I love the most is like, we face so many difficult decisions in our business. Should I invest in this or should I invest in that? Or should I cut this? Um, we run into things like that. We run into issues like how do I deal with this employee or that employer or somebody stealing money from me or somebody's, you know, infidelity, like in the office, like there's you get all kinds of weird things that happen. Um, you have stuff like that, or you have like, we've had all of those things happen to us. <laughs> maybe, possibly, <laughs> certainly. Um, or you have like objections that you're running into, right? Like, Hey, my agents just keep getting their ass kicked. They keep running into this. And then somebody's like, Oh, well we actually were having that same problem. And here's what we did to correct it. Uh, which is cool. And this is something I've learned from EO entrepreneur organization is there's something called gestalt. And what that is, is you don't tell people what to do, right? So you don't come to me and say, you know what, I'm, I'm really struggling. Uh, I've got this employee there. It's just things aren't working out. You don't say, you should fire him. You don't do that. Like, that's not how it works. What you do is you share your own experience. So that, hey, I actually was in a similar situation where I had an employee who was underperforming and here's what I did. And everybody in the group can share their experiences and now you allow the person who's having the issue to make a decision on how they choose to deal with it. So it's great if we all give our experience shares as opposed to someone, don't do this, don't do this, this is stupid. Like, no, like, let me just share my experience. You're a big boy, you're a big girl, you make your own decision, but let me just share my experience. And my experience could be a good one. Oh, I was in that situation, I did this and it worked out great. Or I was in that situation, here's what I did, and I totally screwed it up. Uh, either way, share your experiences and that could be really beneficial. So now what does a mastermind group look like? Um, where do you meet? How often do you meet? Is it a Zoom? Is it What does it look like? Yeah. I mean, there's no rule on this at of all. Of course. Um, Why don't but, you share your experience and tell us what worked well and what, what hasn't worked well? Yeah. So majority of my groups, uh, let's see, of the three that I've mentioned, so I have my Tom Ferry group, which is uh, once a month now. It, and this group's been together for a long time. We started to find the weekly was losing its luster a little bit. So that is a monthly. And then anytime we do an event, we go to a Tom Ferry event, we'll do a dinner. We'll all get together in person um, whenever we're at an event. So there's that group. So that's monthly plus in persons when we're at um, Tom Ferry events, being that we're all in that same coaching. Then my EO group, there's a monthly. And then after the meeting, there's always a dinner. And then there's a once a year retreat where we all chip in and go on a, a epic trip together. And then my EXP group is every single week. Okay. And then within each of those, there's um, a either a Facebook group or a text thread or a Facebook messenger thread. Um, so the Tom Ferry group, they're all on iPhones. It makes it nice and everybody knows each other. So that is an iPhone thread. And then the EO one, actually that's an iPhone thread as well. And then the um, EXP one, because it's so big, text threads don't work when you have, you know, massive amounts of people. So that we use Messenger. And the beauty of Messenger is that everybody can see each other's names. Because mm -hmm. it sucks when you get stuck in this text thread with like 20 people and, and it's just uh, phone, phone numbers, number. phone numbers. You have no idea who the hell is who. Um, and it can get really confusing. And then also like with an iPhone, within Messenger, you know, you might get a little bit of noise in a, a chat, but you could always go pick the message you're replying to. So it's clearer, like what's happening in the conversation. Um, as soon as you throw one Android into a text conversation, you lose that. Um, so we just don't allow people with Androids into our mastermind. Or make them get an iPhone. Yeah. Um, okay. So how do you create a group or, or how, okay. I want to do three, three things. How do you create a group? Um, how do you um, join a group 
and how do you decide when it's somewhat time for someone to be out of the group? Yeah, good subject. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> <laughs> I did not so know this. <laughs> how do you join a group? Um, for let's we'll just go run through all three of these. So within my Tom Ferry group, uh, going to events, finding like-minded people with similar ambition levels. I just, in conversations with people, just whether it's hanging out at the bar, grabbing random dinners, breakfast, whatever, you just find people that you think you, you kind of vibe with and just say, hey, I'm, I'm putting a mastermind group together. Would you be interested? Just ask. I mean, it's not hard. Just like meeting somebody at the bar. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. I'm Kyle. We should grab a drink sometime. Like, right? You just got to ask people. It's not that hard. Um, so just finding people as you go to a conference, I always tell all of our agents when they go to the Tom Ferry Summit, which is like a huge event for our, our team, when we go to that, like you should walk away from that event with a mastermind group. You're gonna be there for two, three, four days. You're gonna meet a hundred people. Every time you meet somebody that you, you vibe with, like grab their card or have them text you because like, it's gonna feel really weird to give a card. I haven't given a card out oh, in like shit. two years. I didn't even think about um, that. Now with COVID, ooh, now it's weird. I'll, I'm actually gonna share. I found a really good card system. Somebody sent me today. That's going to be my widget. Oh, good. So make sure I come back to it. It's really good. I like it. Um, so as you meet people, you know, let's just assume you're actually having business cards. Like when you get those business cards, like one pocket is like, great. Nice to meet you. I'll probably never talk to you again. And the other pocket is like, hey, you were cool. Like we should probably stay connected after this and, and try to get a group together. I would say at least four people minimum because um, there's always going to be stuff that comes up when you have your mastermind or somebody can't show up, kids sick, whatever, COVID, like you never know. Um, so four people minimum, um, I would, don't like going over 10 traditionally over yeah. 10. I think it starts to get too much, gets a little bit noisy and then people are on it. They don't even get a chance to chime in. So four to 10, I think is that sweet spot. So just next time you're at a conference, meet a bunch of people, find the ones that you vibe with and put it together. And now maybe you only found three or four people you vibed with, but ask them, who did you vibe with? And each mm -hmm. of you invite three or four people before, you know, you got a group of eight people and, and you're off to the races. And especially with the summit summits three to four days, one of the things I like to do is towards the end of the conference, either set, set up a lunch or a dinner um, and people that I'm, you know, I'll, I'll make a reservation for six or eight um, and then I'll invite people as we go through the summit. Hey, I, you know, so we do our first mastermind group in person. We, we get to know each other that way online. It's much easier um, and it, you already have momentum going out of that. Yeah, for sure. Um, EO, you sign up for EO and, and they basically make you join one. Um, it's part of the, the way it works. So you go and they'll teach you how their, their mastermind format, which is called forum works. And you'll interview with different forums that have slots open and find the one that fits and you join it. So that one's cool. pretty easy. Um, mm -hmm. and then EO or I'm sorry, then EXP, like within EXP, the group that you join is effectively going to be your mastermind group. So, you know, if somebody is, if you're listening, you're thinking about joining EXP, like make sure you know who you're joining with and make sure you understand like what their value proposition is and are they going to be there to support you and help you? Um, or are they those people that just talk about stock and revenue share all the time? Like we don't talk about that crap. We talk about how we're going to help people grow. Um, so find the group that has that same growth mindset that aligns with what you want to do. That's the group you join. And if there's a group that you're looking at join that doesn't have something in place, I would be concerned. Um, but Hey, if you really love that group and maybe you want to be the one who starts it, say, Hey guys, it looks like we don't have something. Let's get something up and running. And, and you could spearhead that effort or you join a group like ours. that already has it up and running. It's consistent. We have one on Monday, one on Tuesday, every single week, plug into the one that's already up and running. Cool. How do you ask someone to leave? Um, you just have to be direct. Yeah. I think it's the best way. Just be direct. Hey, I talked to a couple of people in the group. We just don't feel it's, it's a great fit right now. And if people don't respect you for being honest, then I mean, that's what the mastermind groups are for, right? It's for, yeah. for the honesty and the yeah. The I mean, if somebody doesn't respect the honesty, it's fine. And maybe you say, Hey, I don't, I don't know if this group was the right fit. Um, I'm going to try to get some, another group up and running. Cool. Yeah. Um, anything else you want to add about mastermind groups? No. Um, I think the key is just having that additional communication method in between. So you're not waiting. So like most of my groups, there's conversations happening every single day. So there, there's continuity and conversation happening pretty consistently. Which is a fairly new addition to, because you used to run it just with a Facebook group. Yeah, it's now not that's, enough. Now that's kind of like a backstop to be like, oh, here, let me put up. You well, know. and especially with everybody on iPhone, you can text message files and stuff now and yeah. text links. So you don't really need the Facebook group anymore. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. 
Well, I hope you guys got a lot of value out of it. Again, if you did, if you could hook us up with a review on whatever podcast platform you're listening on, or if you're watching on YouTube, hit the thumbs up, the subscribe button, the little bell. And then before we wrap, we like to always finish with something we refer to as the whistle widget of the week. I love alliteration. Um, and this is something that we utilize in our business. It either saves us time, makes us more money, or just helps us have more fun. So mine, you're, gonna, you're supposed to say, so what do you got for us, Brian? Oh, so what do you got for us, Brian? So mine, I could have sworn we've done this before, and maybe we've either done it in the last like two weeks, but I couldn't find it on our list. Um, and I know I talked about it in our Medium Air Mastermind, which is why I think it's so fresh. Um, but this tool allows us to um, save the information from people joining our Facebook groups. So we're talking about groups and masterminds. Um, once you accept, when you ask people questions to join your group and you hit accept, uh, Facebook deletes that information. Uh, this will allow you to save that information uh, and therefore you can use it later. This is how we know what questions you've asked when you join the Waste Away um, and what you want to learn about how to grow to your business. So this is called Group Funnels. Um, it's a Chrome extension. Um, it's a one-time fee of I think 300 bucks or so. Um, and so when you ask people questions and you accept them into the group, you can save it into a Google Sheet um, all through group group funnels without copying and pasting stuff like what we what I used to do, which was a pain in the ass. Um, so really, really cool. Um, in our mastermind, I tell, talk about the questions I ask in my different groups. Um, but yeah, group funnels is, is my widget for the week. Cool. Mine's going to be in line with the business card thing that we were talking about and the fact that physical business cards are a little bit awkward. Um, I've been at parties and be like, oh, you got a business card? I'm like, oh, what's, what's your number? Let me just like text you my info. Um, but I actually got one sent to me today and I really liked the format of it. It was really clean, um, provided, it was like a nice sophisticated look. So it's just, you send somebody a link, it's called a Blink, B-L-I-N-Q. There's an app in the app store. Um, it'll probably be on Android in a year or two. Um, so you just send somebody a link and when they open that link up, it has all of your contact information there. They hit save contact and it automatically just throws it right into their phone. So it's really, really clean. So you could send a V card, which is like the traditional way to do it. This just kind of classes it up a little bit. It's truly like, it's the best looking digital business card that I've seen. My boy, Gary Ashton sent me his, um, I was very impressed. Gary's a 2000 plus deal a year guy. Somebody good to know. Somebody I like to get into rooms with and learn from mastermind with. Um, so B L I N Q, uh, I really enjoyed it. Clean, sophisticated, simple, and, uh, I will be using it at our next event. Does it cost money? Uh, it looks like there's like some purchases in app purchases. So it's probably going to have like a watermark or it's going to have like, it's going to mention their name on your card. And if you want to wipe it out, you pay a few bucks. Cool. So that's what we got for you guys. Again, hopefully you got a ton of value out of the show today. Want to thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Whistle Way Podcast. See you next week. Wait, wait. Before you leave, I want to share some more tips and tricks that we're using in our business to take it to that next level. Just click right here. And don't forget to subscribe. Click right here.